camera projections are a great way to add details, extend set pieces or blend different art styles into a new one. I split the workflow into three levels depending on how much time you want to spend. Here we go. All right, so this is my practically the AI image cleaned up and then edit 3D elements. Here's my camera. This is my image that I imported image as planes. I practically just cut in lines to extrude where the where the wheel would go and extruded that in then actually placed a, a 3d wheel in there and i done the same with the with the with the grill i sort of traced these lines here extruded them in and then placed my placed my 3d objects in there to just give everything a bit more specificity so this is the easiest version it's also the one that gives you the least uh rigor room if you want to change perspective or any anything else but it gets you where you want to be um very quickly so you don't have to muck around too much with camera projection okay so let's step things up a notch we have our uh, 3d elements in here grill radiator lights here's our wheel and if i swap over to our non-textured view you can see how less pretty it looks uh, you can also see how brute forced the the perspective of the geometry is there and and that is because i didn't line up the camera to the perspective that the car has in in the image uh, in fact it just uh, it just like points straight at the canvas right while the camera probably probably should have come from here to have this three-quarter view of the car here uh, on the canvas right therefore we introduced this element and uh, this will take care of matching the perspective it will tremendously simplify the detailing process mainly because you actually work on a 3d geometry right so here is x y z rather than just having everything on a flat canvas right so a huge improvement there in terms of workflow. So here's a really good trick in case your projected UVs don't line up that well with the texture that you're using for the projection. Let's go in solid mode. Usually uh, one way is to go in edit mode and then subdivide the geometry, but that makes further editing the geometry more challenging. So we won't do that. Instead, we select this car and just go on the wireframe mode we chuck on a subdivision modifier go on simple and then just crank up subdivision by a good amount so if i turn off optimal display that's decent and should be plenty for our projection so if i go back into preview mode and now use uv project i use my camera et voila it got worse and that is because by default the aspect ratio of this modifier is set one to one while the excuse me the picture that we project has its own aspect ratio obviously so i select this texture in my uh, shader editor press n to toggle on the node information and there i will get the the resolution of that image and i will practically just copy that resolution and it voila now everything in my viewport matches so if i toggle the whole 3d geometry on and off nothing moves everything sticks perfectly and the only difference is the 3d elements that i added here we go nifty trick okay you rascals this is uh, part three here we are in fspy you guys know how to use fspy so we just skim right past it export the camera and get it into blender the advantage of that is that we have a camera with a focal length and already placed in 3d space so if i bring in a cube and place that onto the ground plane then i know this one is set on the ground and it also reveals that this camera here is way too low so let's adjust the camera by bringing it up so we line up the base of the cube with where the wheels touch the ground and we sort of see that the camera's a bit on a tilt i'm just um trying to gauge now whether the perspective is right so by bringing the cube up and down i can i can sort of gauge a little bit whether the lines in the drawing line up cube and in this case they don't we have a little wedge here and that tells me that the perspective of the camera is not quite correct select the camera and rotate it a little bit around i show this looks already much better to me so let's build let's build the, the chassis i'm gonna fast forward through the modeling process because this is a camera projection tutorial and not a modeling tutorial you guys know how to box model a little bit so here's a little issue um, i found 
So in 3D we, we see that the model looks sort of like it resembles what we have over here, right? But what we see in the camera is a different story. Like we have yet again a another witch. Like all of this is offset. And sadly, we can't trust the perspective of, of this image because it's not a photograph. And now we just have to brute force the perspective of the geometry by going on this far end um, column, drag it a little bit back to line it up till, until this looks. Okay, so let's select the car and give it a shader. Give it the same texture that we used for the projection in the background. So we go in the modifier panel, find, there it is, the UV project uh, modifier. Select the F spike camera as our projector. And we see that the distortion is off. And that is because the aspect ratio of that modifier is set one to one, while our image clearly is, is not square, right? So we go into shader editor. Select the texture node, press N to toggle the node panel, and under properties, we will see the uh, resolution of our image. Copy that resolution all the way over to the aspect ratio of our project modifier. And once that is done, it looks much better. If I toggle the geometry, there's a little bit of a wobble and we can fix that too with a subdivision modifier that we move above the UV project. Um, set it to simple, bring up subdivision level. And if we're now toggling the geometry on and off, you see nothing wriggles, nothing moves. This is the perfect projection here. We still have so much freedom to change perspectives, to change the focal lengths. And that is the beauty of projection, right? All right, you rascals, if you want to see more, have a look at this teaser. This is going to be my next video upload where I walk you through the entire uh, creation of, of that project from the very beginning to, to the final outcome. So hit the like button, subscribe to the channel and don't miss out. Bye.